update. So, a lot of y'all know I have been working out on my Peloton and trying to lose weight and all this other stuff. But I don't know if I ever shared this with y'all, and probably it's on some really, really old YouTube videos that you can't see anymore. So, about 10, 12 years ago, I had weight loss surgery. I got a lap band and I almost died from it. Like, literally, I almost died. Maybe I'll do a story time about the lap band. And, um, so now I'm in the process of going through the procedure to get the damn thing removed because it's slipping, it's causing so much pain. Um, I am in so much pain sometimes. Like, when I ride my um, Peloton, for some reason, it will slip up. And it's the craziest thing. Um, other times, it will slip up. And, um, sorry, this thing just fell. Uh, other times, it will slip up and it will hurt. And I have to massage the band back down into place. So, I really just want the lap band removed at this point. It, there's no reason for me to continue to have this foreign object in my body. And my daughter wants me to get it removed. She made some comments before. Because, you know, we take care of my elderly dad who has Parkinson's and dementia and all this other stuff. And then when I went on my trips to Italy, you know, I was with all the girls. And some of them I never met before, but they're cool ladies. And it's a travel group that I'm kind of sort of in. Um, and it's open to anyone in the United States. So if any of you ladies want to join, go ahead. I love it. I'll put the details in a different video. But um, they were like, you know, girl, you need to get that thing out your body. It's a foreign object. And you want to do it now when your body can't handle it versus when you get older and your body can't handle it. So I'm almost 40. I'll be 40 next, 40 next year. And girl, ladies, girls, guys, gents, why are they talking about doing this surgery in September? It's August. I was like, wait, what? So it's a whole plan I would have to do um, like a, a two to four week plan of a liquid diet and then one lean meal a day to shrink my liver, which is what I did in the beginning to actually have the surgery. And so yeah, so they restarted the process to get that done. I made document that y'all know my channel is not just budgeting, it's not just planning shopping, it's everything, my whole life. And the reason why my channel is one of the less than deep, like I told you before, is because that's my passion. My channel used to be called Miss Pastry Chef because I am a pastry chef. A lot of people don't know that, but I change it to what my passion is. I love to travel, and I have friends who had called me that, so it just stuck. So it's whatever. But um, I think I'm gonna do a little docu series on that. I didn't want to record when I was in the doctor's office today because I was my anxiety was very high and my blood pressure was very high, and I didn't take my medicine this morning. I woke up late and I forgot, so my bottom number was 106. So it's extremely high. So like I'm driving home now, trying to get home to take my blood pressure. And I had a very bad headache. So I drank a little bit of coffee to kind of, you know, the caffeine would kind of help me. So when I get home, I'll take my medicine. Hopefully my blood pressure will stabilize. But I was very nervous because of the doctor, one of the doctors who did my previous surgeries. Um, I didn't want to see him. I mean, I saw him, but I didn't want to have his mouth here. So I explained everything to my current doctor and he was just like, but you got me, it's okay. So I'm gonna do a separate story time about my lap band and weight loss journey and all that stuff. And so that'll be a part of this channel. I also have a friend who, who I don't know if I can call him, okay, he's my friend. He's also someone I used to date way back when, but he's my friend and I I love him to pieces. Like I love him. Um, I think no matter what, we will always be friends. And I think because in the nature and how we broke up, like, it wasn't a bad breakup. He's my friend. He'll always be my friend. And I'll always love him. Um, But he was talking about, you know, he doing his weight loss journey and stuff, too. And I was like, yo, like, like documenting it. And I was like, you just got to do it. Like, you got to do it. Like, if you can go back and watch my very first YouTube video ever, you'd be like, you know. So as the years has progressed, I've gotten better, but I don't do this to make money. I just, this is a hobby of mine, you know? And I'm just glad y'all with me on the journey. So I'm gonna go over that as well. And I don't know if I'll do it tonight or tomorrow, but I'll sit down from the beginning and do like a little story time about uh, my weight loss journey and surgery. Cause I do have a lap band. 
and I'll go through all that with you guys and talk about that. So if you're interested, let me know, but I'm gonna still post it because I feel like I need to get it off of my chest and get it out here in the world. It's like a therapy, y'all in therapy with me, okay? But yes, I'm starting the process to get this lap band removed, so I will be having surgery. Uh, it looks like within the next two months, well, a month and a half maybe, because um, I'm already scheduled for my first post-op, no, pre-op procedure which is basically getting an endoscopy done. So they wanted to do a barium test. I was like, no, you're not doing a barium test. That bar I'll tell you about that another story, but I, I am not doing another barium test. No way, no hell, no. But anyway, so I'm gonna do a story time with the lap band and my weight loss journey and all that stuff. And yeah, we're gonna get it together. I'm trying to be more consistent, but life has still been life for y'all. My dad, you know, he has Parkinson's and he's starting to hallucinate some. Um, his new thing is he's seeing bugs. And it's like, that's not a bug, that's a piece of paper. Or like he came to me the other day, was like, look at me, look at me, I'm covered in bugs. Y'all, it was crumbs from his muffin. And I was like, daddy, those are not bugs. Yes, it is. I said, no, I'm looking dead at it. That's a muffin. They're sleeping right now. They just sleep. I said, daddy, they're not asleep. They're crumbs. I just want to cry but anyway but yeah so life is life and with him and us trying to get the business off the ground i put my daughter in charge of social media so i feel like you know i hate harassing her but i feel like i'm harassing her but i also want the business to get off the ground and unfortunately we're in a time age of social media so you have to be out there advertising doing videos and reels and content all the time and i can't do that with with the job 100 percent. i'll be trying to and we have my regular Insta, uh, TikTok page, which is Wonderless and Diva. I have Wonder Print Creations TikTok page. And then we got WPC Transfers TikTok page, which is her old TikTok page for her old business. But now we're doing WPC Transfers together. We have the glass tumble, the glass Libby cans, and then we have the mugs, um, tote bags, and um, transfers and stuff. So, I'm tired. Just pray for me. That's all I can say to pray for me. But starting the process of getting this lap being removed. If y'all want a story time, let me know. Either way, y'all gonna still get the story time, okay? But yeah, so just want to check in real quick because I said I'm gonna be more consistent. So, sorry, it's another car video. When I get home, my attention's gonna be on my dad and him lifing right now. Um, love y'all be blessed and talk to you really really soon